now I am going to discuss a thrombopoietin TPO. What is TTO? TPO is basically a glycoprotein which is mainly produced by the liver. How TPO is formed in the liver? Platelets is basically attached with the galactose and galactose is further attached with the salic acid. This is the basic configurations of the platelet. But with the passage of time, the salic acid removed and platelets per galactose will remain. Uh, due to uh, galactose, galactose have affinity uh, for to the attach uh, of the actual moral receptor which is present on the cells of the liver which is the hepatic cells. When the galactose is attached with the actual moral receptors then a pathway which is called JAK2 pathway is start. JAK2 pathway is basically intrinsic pathway which help in the production of the TPO. JAK stands for Janus Associated Kinase. The pathway uh, uh, we will discuss in the next coming videos uh, but now the focus is on the production of the TPO. TPO is produced uh, through the, this process. TPO then at, uh, attack on the bone marrow. We, uh, uh, and in the bone marrow, they help in the production of the platelets through the megakaryocyte. Then the platelets form and the, this cycle is continued uh, throughout the uh, life. Next, very much important things which you have to remember Platelets and megakaryocytes. Platelets and megakaryocytes both have receptor which is called MPL. MPL receptor is important for the attachment of TPO. For the attachment of TPO. Right? Uh, now, uh, we uh, discuss the graph which will helpful in the concept of the uh, TPO and the platelets. Let's suppose uh, there is an x-axis and this is y-axis. y-axis takes the serum TPO concentrations. Like uh, in normal situation like this is the this graph shows the normal concentrations of the TPO. But in case of aplastic anemia, in which the platelets and the megakaryocytes counts low, then the TPO increase. Why? Because when the platelets and megakaryocytes concentration is low, then the receptor which is present on them will also low. Then there is no attachment sites for the TPO. Then obviously, when the uh, MPL uh, receptor low, then TPA concentration will be high in case of aplastic anemia. But in case of thrombocythemia, in which the platelets count increase, it means when the platelets count increase, MPL receptor will also increase and there is a more chances of the attachment of TPO with the platelets and in that situation the TPO concentration will be low below the normal value. Easy trick to remember this concept is the TPO is inversely proportional to platelets or megakaryocyte in which if the TPO concentrate if the platelets or megakaryocyte concentration is high it means MPL receptor is more and there is more chances of the TPO which attach to the platelets and due to which TPO concentration will be low. But if the platelets or megakaryocyte concentration is low, low, it means 
MPN receptor will also be low. Then, due to this, there is more uh, TPO uh, molecules present in the serum. And this shown increase in the concentration of the TPO. This is the basic concepts of the uh, thrombopoietin uh, TPO uh, 